Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another IT120 Introduction to Network Technology Tutorial. The telecommunications room is also known as an Intermediate Distribution Frame or IDF, where all of the horizontal runs from all of the work areas come together. An equipment rack provides a safe, stable platform for all the different hardware components. All rack mounted equipment uses a height measurement simply known as a U. A U is 1.75 inches. A patch panel is simply a box with a row of female connectors or ports in the front end and permanent connectors in the back to which you connect horizontal cables. The most common type of patched panel today uses a special type of connector called a 110 block or sometimes a 110 punch down block. UTP cables connect to a 110 block using a punch down tool. TIA or EIA labeling methodology calls TIA EIA 606. It called TIA EIA 606, but a number of real world network techs simply use their own internal code, codes. Patch cables, short for UTP cables, are typically 2 to 5 feet. A demark or demarcation point is the physical location of the, the connection, which marks the dividing line of responsibility for the functioning of the network. In a private home, the DSL or cable modem supplied by your ISP is a network interface unit or NIU that serves as a demark between your home network and your ISP and most home networks have a network interface box that provides the connection for your telephone. The best way to think of a demark is in terms of responsibility. If something breaks on one side it's your problem. On the other side it's the phone company's problem. Now an NIU is the same thing as an NIB which is the same thing as an NID. Smart jacks enable the ISP or telephone company to determine if the customer is disconnected from the NIU. Also, they can set up a remote loopback. Now, any cabling that runs from the NIU to whatever box is used by the customer is the DMARC extension. For telephones, the cabling might connect to a special box called a multiplexer and on the LAN side, almost certainly to a power switch. Vertical cross connect is the main panel which leads to every telecommunications room in the building. The room that stores all of this equipment is known as the main distribution frame, or MDF, to distinguish it from the multiple IDF rooms, or telecommunications room, that serve individual floors. A cable location is where the cable comes out of a wall in the workstation. Watch out for the word drop, guys, because it often has more than one meeting. A single run of cable from the telecommunications room to a wall outlet is often referred to as a drop. The word drop is also used to define a new run coming through a wall outlet that does not yet have a jack installed. Many companies sell wonderful external waste rate products that adhere to your walls, making for a much simpler, though less neat, installation than running cables on the walls. In an office with a drop ceiling, pullers will often feed the cabling along the run by opening ceiling tiles and stringing cable via hooks or cable trays that travel above the ceiling. Now the mounting bracket, is, this bracket has a holder for the faceplate. If a wire is broken, it no longer has continuity or a complete functioning connection. A cable tester verifies that both the cable and the terminated ends are correct. These inexpensive, in, inexpensive tests are often called continuity tests. Better testers can run a wire, te wire map test that goes beyond continuity, testing that all the wires on both ends of the cable connect to the right spot. TDR, or Time Domain Reflectometer, medium price testers cer certainly test continuity and wire map and include the additional capability to determine the length of the cable. They can even tell you where a break is located on any of the individual wire strands, so you can see where a TDR would come in handy. Now crosstalk is when you send a signal down one of these pairs and the other pair and the other pairs pick up some of the signal. Near end crosstalk or NEXT is an electronic detector connected on the same end of the cable as the end emitting the signal. And it listens on the other three pairs and measures the amount of interference. And we're running out of time guys, so that's where I'm gonna leave off. But please guys don't forget to like and subscribe and please check out some of my other playlists of tutorials. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial video.